Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your vibes for <laughs> your daily vibes for Sunday, April 15th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind this energy, this timing is fluid. This may be today, could happen this week. It could be a feeling that you felt recently, whatever. I'm do this is what I'm picking up on today, okay? A new door could be opening. You could be at a crossroads and you have to make a decision. Do you stay or do you go? And this could even be a sudden decision. It could be a sudden decision to stay or a sudden sudden deci decision to go. Okay, so I feel like there could be an opportunity for you to go through a new doorway or go down a new path and it's about making the decision to go or not go. And it's like sudden, sudden, there could be some sudden changes. Okay. You may be all of a sudden like, Oh, no, I, I've decided I want to give this another chance or I can't give this another chance. You know, it's just like that. It's like, boom, I, all of a sudden your mind is made up and you go or you don't go. Okay. It's like a sudden, uh, decision. You know, for many of you, you're probably going to go. You're probably going to go through this uh, or on this new path. You're probably going to be like, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I've lost my momentum wherever I was at, and it's really time for me to get going. Okay, so I feel like whatever whatever is happening today might be the day that you take charge. You get a hold of your emotions. You decide where you're going maybe you start to see your goals a lot more clearly and you you move forward so it really looks to me like the the decision here is it's time for me to go <laughs> whatever this is it's that's what it looks like maybe you're not feeling appreciated where you're at Maybe you, you're looking for somebody who's going to appreciate you more. And this could be at a job. This could be in love. Whatever. You may be feeling like there's a lack of cooperation. There's a lack of compromise. So, you know, I need to go or head in a direction that... Or will. Where I will be appreciated. You know? Because wherever you're at, I feel like somebody is looking for something else okay they're not they're not feeling like they're part of the team okay so maybe you guys have decided to give up on a situation Ooh, yeah, this could happen very suddenly, like I said. There could be a sudden change of heart or a sudden decision that is made that, you know, when the tower comes out in a reading, this is something that has to happen. Maybe maybe you get this epiphany or you get this wake-up call or um, <laughs> the universe throws an event into your life that pushes you forward, that gives you the momentum that you need. So I feel like, Today is probably a day that you receive something from the universe that breaks down a commitment, okay? It breaks down a foundation. It, it breaks down what you couldn't break down on your own you know this is the universe coming in and saying this isn't strong this isn't working you're not doing anything about it you aren't cooperating with yourself you know what I mean you are you're going against the grain you're not doing what you need to do so the universe comes in and they throw that that storm into your life 
to open your eyes and force you to make a decision. So I feel like, you know, this could be today, tomorrow, this week, that there's a decision that needs to be made that somebody has been procrastinating on making or they, they want to make or they don't dare to make it, whatever the case is. Somebody wants to go in a new direction, but they're scared. They're scared to go in a new direction. And the universe is here to say, it's time for you to face your fear. And I'm going to help you to face your fear. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody is going to get a um, a little push from the universe that asks them to find their emotional strength. And move on from a situation in which they were scared to take action okay so somebody was afraid but now the universe is like okay you're gonna let fear hold you back forever I am going to help you with this somebody's been being dishonest feeling depressed feeling negative you know, like the they've been thinking the glass is half empty instead of the glass is half full. You know, somebody has been feeling down in the dumps about this decision, but they've been through a period of growth and rebirth, or they're going to. Perhaps this is why the, the tower is here, is because it's time for you to go go through your renewal. It's time for you to go through your rebirth. You can't keep being dishonest with yourself or letting whoever it is that you've been dealing with be, be dishonest with you. Somebody hasn't been honest and somebody hasn't been communicating what they really feel and it's been causing a lot of depression, anxiety, sadness, uh, negative thoughts. Somebody has been in denial about what they really need to do because I think what's happened here is somebody has a lot of fear that is holding them back from going down this new road anyhow whatever is happening is you are probably going to make a decision to move on from a situation because you've changed okay you have I think that you've grown into something very beautiful your your soul has reached a different level okay I feel as though you could have been dealing with somebody that was very self-centered greedy um, shallow and unreasonable and whatever you were holding on to was unreasonable okay and you know I think that it's really time for you to follow your own path and be honest with yourself. And I think that today or tomorrow or this week, whenever this resonates with you, that there will be some sort of shakeup that pushes you in the direction of rebirth, okay? And sometimes you have to go in this direction on your own. So you may be deciding to leave a situation so that you can go take care of your own soul, so that you can do some soul searching, so that you can heal, so that you can let yourself renew, so you can get to where you need to be. You may decide, you know what, I just need to go on my own for now, okay? I need to take care of myself. I need to find the strength that has been lost. I, You know, maybe you need to just work on your health as well. So I feel like somebody is being nudged whether they like it or not, to make this difficult decision because it hasn't been serving them, whatever it is. We're going to get some clarifiers, but I do want to make sure that this is zoomed in. Somebody is make, needing to make changes or they are making changes so that they can be more successful in life. And maybe that's why the tower is here is because wherever you've, at, you've been at, there hasn't been as much success as you were looking for. So maybe the universe says, okay, we, we, need, to, we need to light this fire so that you can 
find your inner strength, you know. Um, that could certainly be the case. Either way, that tower is a faded event. It's a faded event that is coming in. It's a blessing in disguise. It may not seem like a blessing when it happens, but it is a blessing. Yes, yeah, somebody is, is going to decide to remove an obstacle from their life, something that's been holding them back. I, they've been lying to themselves anyway. Somebody has been lying to themselves probably because it was comfortable, okay? Yeah, but now it's time to let go. Why? Somebody has can't resist anymore. They've sacrificed enough. There's been too much sacrifice here. Somebody's been stalling this movement and I feel like that time of stalling is just about over, okay? I feel like you can only stall for so long before something changes, okay? Somebody's been stalling and stalling and stalling and, and not because they didn't want to step outside of their comfort zone. So I feel like today there could be a, a sudden change because I saw suddenly way over here before this card came out, something could suddenly change that makes you decide to suck it up, buttercup that kind of energy. I have to do what I gotta do even if it hurts. Emperor. So, Aries. You know, I feel like somebody needs to restore control. They need to take the lead. They need to take the, be the boss. And this is taking the lead as well. Somebody needs to step up to the plate to do the right thing. And there could be some breakup that comes out of it. This is the Two of Cups reversed with the Tower. So I, there could be a split here because the pretending isn't working out. And the universe sees that. Some people, you know, have codependent ways and they're scared to leave a situation just because for fear of growing old alone. I feel like somebody, or, the, or a job, they're scared to leave a job afraid they won't get another one. So somebody needs to make a move in which they've been stalling a lot, but it's been causing them a lot of stress and sadness. We definitely have fire signs here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries like three times. We have Cancer. We have Leo a couple of times. We have Taurus. We have Libra. So, I mean, whoever this is, we have Scorpio. Somebody um, has been in denial, and there could be a breakup, a split with this Two of Cups on the horizon. Split, breakup, horizon. I mean, the cards, they all mean so much. So, yes, yeah, somebody has lost their strength. Remember I said that earlier. Somebody needs to find the strength, and I think that's what the, why this tower moment is here. For somebody to remember how strong they are. For somebody to find their strength. For somebody to let go of the fears. Okay, somebody has been living in fear of something, of not being successful in the future. And so they've been indecisive. Anyway, with the strength card reversed, it really feels as though, you know, somebody is has a lot of doubt and they're letting doubt rule their life. And that's unreasonable. That's unreasonable. You're going to let doubt ruin your life? You have the mental strength to succeed with the chariot card. You do. You just got to find it. You have to pull it out. Woo. Yeah, somebody is going through a rebirth, a renewal, or they have. This is the death card. Something is ending so that something better can begin. And you've been stalling, stalling with letting it end for fear of the unknown. And that's why the chariot is here. This is where the universe is going to help you take the lead. They're going to help you find your mental strength. They're going to help you bring success to your life. Even though it may not seem like that is what is happening when this shakeup comes about. Okay? You have gone through some sort of transformation. <clears throat> or you are about to, okay? You're about to go through something that allows you to almost feel like re being reborn again, okay? With the Empress and the Death card right here together, some, and this is a transformation card too, a whole new life is in front of you.
but you can't lie to yourself. You can't be dishonest. You need to stop putting in energy and work into something where the other person isn't reciprocating. Okay, it's time to restore the control in your life. You need to stop giving your energy, your time, your efforts, your your work into somebody or something that isn't giving back. This is lack of communication, lack of power, lack of truth. Somebody is in denial, but they're still trying to put energy and work into something that is dead. Oh my God, the son, son of a bitch. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we have the, roos, the reversed son with the upright son. Once you, once this tower comes out, to remove the kinks, to remove the chains, to remove the lies, to open your eyes, your life is going to change drastically. At first you may feel sad, you may feel scared, you may, may feel unhappy about this, but very quickly afterwards, you're gonna feel enlightened, you're going to feel happy, you're going to feel bliss, okay? You're going to feel very very content there is a rebirth here it's like being reborn again so there's a storm of brewing in this after the, the after the storm there's a lot of beauty and happiness but you will be called to It's up to you. When you. The first card is you make the decision to stay or go. This is your opportunity to go and change your life. Now this is the Aries new moon tonight. This is your chance to set your, your intentions to let go. Get out your piece of paper. Write down what you want to let go of and mean it. Mean it. This is what this, this new moon is bringing in. Structure, balance. It's time to do the responsible thing like the emperor would do. Would do. The emperor is very, very responsible, dominating, decisive, strong, wise, organized, structured. It's time for you to bring all those qualities back, find them. To regain the structure in your life. All is well here. It is. All is going to be absolutely fine. There is a storm coming. That is meant to change your life. You're the key player. Do you want to stay stuck? Or do you want to move forward? Many of you are in the midst of a major transformation. I mean, you really are. The chariot is a transformation. This is a transformation. And the empress card is too. It really is. There's a rebirth, being reborn again here, if you allow it. Some of you won't be able to fight it with that tower card. Some of you won't be able to fight it. You will be pushed in a new direction, whether you like it or not. I mean, that's what's happening here. You might as well set your attention intentions right now so that when that tower moment comes out, they know what the hell you want. And when you get out your piece of paper, don't write what you don't want, write what you do want. Because that's what it is. If you write what you don't want, that's what you're going to get. You only write down what you do want. That way they know. The universe will know. Because the tower moment is coming to change your life. And I got goosebumps throughout my body. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some of you, some 
you learn from, and then you move on. While others return often because you need to learn from from the you learn I can't read, I'm sorry. I can, but I can't. I'm gonna start over. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Some people go. Some people stay. There's a reason why things happen. Trust the plan. Trust the path. I feel like today or tomorrow there is about to be some sort of storm that changes your life. But in the end, it makes you very happy. Very, very, very happy. You go from darkness to light. Sad to happy. Okay? Don't fight it. Talk to you later.